everyone, it's me X Canadensis and today I'm super stoked because I have another package from the development of the Jack Specific Lynx Club dolls and this is one very tiny item but the amount of information that I have related to it is like whoa. so I'm really really stoked to show this to you guys. Um, I'm not going to show you the prototype until after I show you the, um, the second thing or I'm going to show you the second thing and then I'm going to show you the prototype item. Ooh, I just saw it, sorry. So excited. Okay, so the first thing, this is so funny. So remember how I got the bow tie in the last video? That was basically what the executives at Jack Specific who would go talk to Rainbow would wear for their meetings with them. Well, my source found another one and it's the tie. So I have the bow tie and the tie now, which I think is all of them. Yeah, they told me there was like something going on with the sewing. Um, yeah, I really don't know what's going on. Oh no. Okay, you gotta turn it like that. Perfect. Sorry y'all, I cut away for a second. So, my source told me that the tie was like ripped or had a hole somewhere, but I don't see one. Which is cool. Maybe I'm just missing it. Um, but they embroidered. Oh, let me see if I remember how to tie a tie. No. It's okay though. This is how you tie a tie, friends. No, I think it's like... That? I did it once before. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how to tie a tie. But like, this is so cool. And the, they were joking about how at my wedding we could wear matching Winx ties. Or at the pre-dinner. And that would be hilarious. And I think it would be very cool. And love it. I didn't even know they were matching ties. I wish I could see pictures of the designers at the time meeting with the Winx executives with these on. That would be really cool. But it's okay. I'm happy to own it at all. It's really crazy. And I really just don't see the hole. They really told me there was like a big hole. Anyway. Next is the prototype piece. It's really tiny, but it's like, it's a full, like, hand-painted, I think. It's really cool. So, let me know if this looks familiar. How cool is this? So, it's the Sirenix book, of course, from season five. And I was saying, oh, was this originally going to come with the dolls? Like, was this an extra accessory? Or did it come with, like, that harmonics hair play set? And just casually, they were like, oh, no, there was a dollhouse. It was going to come with the dollhouse. <laughs> I was like, sorry? The dollhouse? And they were like, oh, yeah, there were going to be two dollhouses. I was like, what? So there were going to be two different dollhouses. This is the big exciting part. Unfortunately, they don't exist. But we have a token from them. A a reminder that they once were. So there was gonna be two. There was gonna be one that was gonna be a modern style loft. I'm thinking the love and pet loft, but they weren't sure um, or they didn't remember or I kept trying to like goad them into telling me, but I don't know if they knew to be honest. And then the other one was gonna be an Alfea set that was gonna be Barbie Dreamhouse sized. And then the loft was gonna be like smaller. I would think kind of like the Monster High School maybe like one of those smaller fold up play sets, but I'm not sure. Um, and this is one of the um, artifacts from the Alfea. They, there was going to be the Alfea library in there where Hippocampus was. <laughs> and um, I guess this was going to be one of the books on the shelves. They implied to me that there might have been multiple books, but definitely at least one, and it's this one. And then here it is compared to the doll. I honestly can't tell if it's hand-painted or not. It, like, feels different than an actual doll accessory, and it has these stickers that are telling me it's a prototype. And I know it's a prototype because they told me, but... Um, here it is compared to my Sirenix Florida doll. Perfect choice, actually. It matches her perfectly. Uh, I guess I shouldn't have given it to an already Sirenix transformed fairy, huh? Just didn't even think of it. Should have given it to some Believix fairy. Oops. It's okay, though. Oh my gosh, but this is so cool. The Jax dolls really didn't get to last long enough to get, like, cool matching accessories like this. But now I have one. I am definitely, I don't want to just like own these so that nobody else can have them. So I'm definitely planning to do like resin molds or like create resin molds and I'll either sell you the molds or sell you the actual resin creations for like five bucks or something. Just cheap enough to cover my materials and also cheap enough that everybody can have them. Um, but yeah, 
This is real cool. I'm gonna end the video with like a close-up video without my dumb mug in it because I know a lot of you guys don't like me and that's fine. You just want to see the wink stuff and I get it. So, uh, <laughs> it's okay. So I'll just take like really HD pictures and you're free to use them. You don't have to credit me or anything. It's fine. Um, really cool. So, yeah, this is a really small package, I know, but this is like really cool. Um, but yeah. Um, so this was free and especially the information. The information is the part that's most exciting to me. Uh, it's really cool to own the physical artifacts of them. Uh, but the information about what was to be is the coolest. I really desperately wish we could see sketches of what the playsets were going to look like because I would love to make the playsets myself. How cool would that be? Um, but I'm totally happy. Um, so yeah, we're going to cut away to the part without my face and voice in it for those of you that don't like me or just want to see the pretty doll thing. Okay? Later.